Welcome to this overview of the KNX tool. This video will give you a quick introduction to the KNX tool to get you started. Let's start by opening a project. This is the project management page where you can create projects or open an existing one. For this demo, we'll open a sample project to show you around. Now we have opened the drawing board. This is where we plan and build projects. On the right, we have the device menu open. Let's add a push button. You can right click a device to preview its details. Drag and drop the device to the drawing board by holding down the left mouse button. You can then right click the device to configure it. Let's add some functions to these buttons and descriptions of what they control. Down here, I can change the color of the push button. You can also create labels with the KNX tool. I already have a template for this push button, so I can click here to edit the label. As you can see, the push button text was automatically added to the label. And here, I can add icons. You can create your own label templates in the project settings. Next, we'll add an actuator. I have already downloaded these devices, but you can download them from the online catalog by clicking here. Again, right-click to configure the device. I'll click a channel to start configuring. I can add a group address set and channel text. The KNX tool generates a complete group address structure based on the group address sets in the configuration, which are customizable in the group address settings. Then. When we go to the group address view, we can see the entire group address structure. This project already had a group address structure, so I will reload it to add my changes. Here we can see the GAs for the device I just configured. The KNX tool includes three predefined group address profiles that determine what the GA structure will look like. You can fully customize these profiles to fit your specific needs in the project settings. Remember, if you ever need quick assistance, just click the question mark in the top right corner to open the quick help bar. Now onto the building view. This is where you define the structure of your project. Add buildings, floors, and rooms. The topology view. Here you can build up your topology by adding areas and lines. Click on a line to change the view. Here you can also see which line you are on. To change the physical address of a device, you can drag and drop them in the list or use these tools to move the whole list up or down. Next, let's talk about functions. While devices represent the physical components, functions focus on the project's functionality and make it easier to explain and sell projects to customers. Adding functions to your project helps you describe your project's functionality in a way that's easy for your customer to understand and visualize. Now let's take a look at what the function report looks like. The function description report can serve as a useful handbook for your customers to understand the KNX installation. The report details all functions, descriptions of them, and their implementations. You can customize the colors, background image, and logo for the report to match your company branding. To export the report, click here. Make sure to have Include Background Image selected. The KNX tool has three more reports. First, the Actuator Report, which lists all devices, group addresses, and installation notes for your installers. You can also edit device configurations in the Report Editor and customize the look of this report. The Budget Report, providing a clear breakdown of project costs and programming time. And lastly, the Purchase Report, which compiles a shopping list of devices used in your project. Once your project is complete, you can easily import it into ETS. First, download our ETS app. Then, you can start a new project, open the ETS app, and log in with your KNX Tool credentials. Then you can choose which project to import from the drop-down list. I will then go to the Devices tab and link any devices to the ETS devices that haven't been linked yet. 
you can save device parameters as templates. If you have any templates you want to use, then select them here. Now the project is imported. You can see that the entire building structure has been imported with the group addresses and devices and more. By using the group address structure from the KNX tool, you automatically create ETS functions. With ETS functions, you can link multiple group addresses at once to a channel. You also get a better overview of the functionalities you have in a room. Here, I'm linking channels to functions. Doing this both saves time and minimizes errors. Here you can see that each object has been linked to the right group address. ETS functions can also be used for visualization. For example, platforms like Exter or SimCon can import ETS functions seamlessly. Here's how it works with Exter. I've created a new project. First, I link the project to a KNX tool project. Then, I go to Components to synchronize the ETS functions from the KNX tool project, which will automatically create the components for me. From there, I can auto-generate a profile, and within just 30 seconds, I've generated the visualization for my project, with room layouts and basic widgets all set up. For your next step, head over to our website where you can explore more step-by-step -step guides and videos to quickly learn the KNX tool. Thanks for watching and happy planning with the KNX tool.